this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Let's explore the Tower of Babel with new floor numbering, so if you're playing the old versions of the game, you're screwed! No, no, but seriously, they did reorder the numbering. Which actually makes sense, this is the bottom floor of the tower, but it... Well, if you... If you saw from the overworld there, this is the tower that was by the Castle Eblon there. So, but here we got a new enemy, Evil Dolls. They can be put to sleep. So, let's go after the Marionetteer in the back row there. If you wanted to, you could uh, cast Mini on him, and that could work as well. But, it's just one guy, and he's easy enough. I don't feel like wasting the MP on that. Now, like I did with the Tower of Zot, I'm going to be making multiple trips through here. Not too many, just two. But still. So don't worry about your MP for the first trip. Go all out. Go hog wild. Use your summons if you really want to. Rydia doesn't have the Asmos spell. Uh, unlike Tala. So you got to be a little careful with her MP. Okay, so that evil Dao was the only new enemy, well, maybe not the only new enemy, but the only new one that you really want to meet up with on the first floor, or else you may not meet up with it later. Now, let's see, we got 48 strength, 36 stamina, equip the green beret on Yang there. Well, it boosts his stamina a little more. It already has plus 5 strength, same as a headband, but it boosts your stamina a little more. You could also give it to Rosa if you wanted her to become, I was going to say Malay fighter, but now that wouldn't be right. Okay, for this part, let's give Yang the Lightning Claws. Doing good there. Uh-oh, it's a chest with monsters! Okay, first things first, you want to get to Yang's turn. You want to have him use Focus on the Security Eye. The reason is because... Uh-oh, that may not be a good idea, actually. Well, anyway, uh, the reason is because the Security Eye is a machine-type creature, and Lightning Claws deal quadruple damage to them. But, uh, yeah, if you leave the Chimera alone, that can be a problem because they can use that Frost Blast on you. Well, we got the Ice Brand for Cecil. Hooray! Put that on him. That works pretty good. Heal up after that one. This room has a really high encounter rate. Get back to the Ice Claws. We're good! Of course, I could just be lying about that room. I'm just having traumatic flashbacks to Final Fantasy II! Oh, I should have equipped the Lightning Claws. Well, I can do that mid-battle, but you know what I mean. Let's get everyone's turn up to speed there. There we go. The Lightning Claws. Here we got another new enemy, Stone Golem. Now, with these guys, you can use Hold on them. So, that'll keep them in place for a little while. Let's let Yang have the honors for this one. Get to his turn. Let's go Ice Claws, Fairy Claws, Focus. Watch this, viewers. Wow, look at that damage! Yeah, the reason that works is because Fairy Claws... Oh, we get an Ice Lance and a Siren, all right. But yeah, we get an Ice... Or, yeah, the Fairy Claws deal quadruple damage to Giants. The Ice Claw deals double damage since he's weak to Ice. So, yeah, that really helps us out a lot. Let's see, there's one new enemy that I'd like to meet up with on this floor. But I'll try to meet up with it on the way out. And after that battle, Rydia gained the level and she learned the Mighty Bio spell at level 26. So that'll be really nice for us here. But I do want to rest up... Outside! No! Oh, I, no, wait, wait, wait. This is... No! I was going to say, this is the... Uh... Not the DS version of the game. If this was the DS version of the game, they would kill you. But no, no, this is the... Uh, just the regular version, sorry. Just having dramatic flashbacks. I'd use Shiva in this battle. I'd have no problem doing that. But, well, Rydia kind of died there. I want to wait for someone else's turn to come up. There we go. What? Oh, right, I didn't equip that. I forgot, I equipped the Sleep Blade on you, Cecil. Okay. Ah, I just kept that one in there for laughs. See, I don't do those 
was it deleted scenes anymore. I just leave them in the video to begin with. It's a lot easier for editing. Okay, one new enemy I want to find around here. There we go. There's the guys I'm looking for. Flame Knight. So let's... Yeah. Get my timer started again. That's what the beeping sound is. Now let's see. With the Flame Knights, you could use Toad on them if you really wanted to. But since I have the ice weapons now, I don't really care because I can one-shot them. There we go. Okay, let's get out of here. Make the second trip a lot easier. Let's see. How much do we need? Yeah, let's use a cottage. I was going to say maybe use a tent, but nah. Now for this trip, we want to conserve our MP. I mean, they do have a couple save points along the way. But still, no reason to go overboard with the MP usage. I'm surprised I didn't have more opportunities to use Shiva. Usually on these first two floors here, they give me plenty of opportunities. Large groups of enemies weak to ice. Not that that's a problem anymore. Okay, now let's really move on to the meat of the tower. And here we get the Cat Claws. Let's see, strength and agility, 49, 40, or 49 and 17. Let's see, place those. 51, 22. So it boosts your strength and speed by 5, since the Hell Claws already boosted it by 3. The Ultimate Claw. Well, at least, yeah. Yeah, pretty much the Ultimate Claw for Yang. They can also put enemies to sleep. Like the Sleep Blade, but you can't do it guaranteed. I shouldn't be running around. Slow it down there, Cecil. There we got the Killer Bow. Boost your strength by five, I think? Or is it three? I forget. No, it's five. The Great Bow is three. So you might want to hold on to that for later. See, there is one new enemy I'd like to meet up with on this floor. I'll let you know when the last floor is that you can meet up with certain enemies. Or maybe not so much the last floor absolutely, but the last floor where the enemies are reasonably common to meet up with if you're going for 100% bestiary. Now here, you know what, let's use something else on them. Let's use Toad. Let's play it a little conservative this time. Uh-oh, Kane's getting his ass kicked. Well, we all are, but especially Kane. Oh, come on. Rhea almost had her spell through. Now, with, this pretty much works on almost any clan-type monsters. They are susceptible to code. Okay, we're good to go. Uh, one thing that I was going to show off... You know, I still could show it off. Oh, I'm going to do it now. But, uh, one thing you could do is... Well, I'll show you with Kane's Ice Lance there. If, for some reason, Toad did not work on all of them. You can use the Ice Lance as an item, and it'll cast Blizzara on an enemy. Not very strong, but still, you could use it so that way you don't have to worry about, like, that one straggler that somehow didn't get towed into there. So, it's pretty nice. High Potion, awesome. Can never have enough of those. They're kind of part of the Too Good to Use Club for me. Well, I use them every now and then. I prefer to save... I prefer to... Save them for instant healing. Okay, here we got a new enemy. Uh, Mystery Egg. I want to try and kill them in one hint. So let's have Yang use Focus there. Now, if you're playing the Game Boy Advance version of the game, the Mystery Egg is a separate ent entry from the enemies that hatch from it. If you just hit it, like with a weak attack and you don't kill it, an enemy will spawn out of it. If you're playing the Game Boy Advance version, the spawned enemy will not count towards your bestiary completion. Only the mystery egg will. In this version of the game, I believe they fixed that. And I'm going to fix up my party with a, with a tent, and then we'll head on up to the peak of the Tower of Babil. Can we retrieve the crystals? Find out next time, and let's play Final Fantasy IV! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!